So I was looking on YouTube the other day and I noticed there's not a single video cutting up coastal redwood. I don't know whether that's just because like you're not allowed to in America. But over here there seems to be quite a few of them. I mean obviously there's the giant sequoia as well. Some of this stuff here. The pink stuff. This is just a little mixed bag. But we also offer it as cladding. So on this shed here, this is some old coastal redwood. And I've got a couple of orders to do today. Coastal redwood, so I thought I'd uh, make a video. And we'll show you how we do it. I mean, they are absolute monsters. So you need some heavy machinery. It doesn't go through dust extraction either. So let's get on with it. So this is the timber in question. These were from, I think it was Colford in the Forest of Dean. I think that's where it's from. I went and viewed them, but I can't remember exactly. So I need a four meter length. So they're all slightly longer, but I can always cut them down. And we'll be using this absolute beast to get it done. So I'll pull one out and show you what we're doing. So, that's what we're working with. This one is an absolute monster. So it's almost too big to get the grab round. So it's probably about a meter diameter at the base. Just gonna chop him off at about four meters or 4.1. And we'll get it loaded onto the saw. Gonna go up and cut him now. The plan is to get a bit more drone footage. Uh, the next couple couple months, just don't have time. <laughs> it's a difficult one, man. But uh, yeah, we'll get cutting into it. The chain's not too sharp on this chain, so I've had to bust out the four four one because quite a bit of girth on these. So this will be interesting. And then I realised I forgot my tape, so I had to go back for that. So standard procedure when cutting a log, really. Check the arse end of it. There's no shake or anything, so we can work from that. And then we basically, oh, you measure your length, slightly over, cut it, and boom. Easy as pie. That's what we're working with. We'll give him a go.
I might be my first ever time bucking a redwood, so the, the technique might have been a bit poor there. So, we'll get him loaded on. I'll just lob the other section over there. Put him on the mana too. Whew. I was a little bit, uh, a little bit tense then when the chainsaw got stuck, but it all turned out well. You just gotta be careful what you're doing with some of these big logs because it can get a bit dangerous. Especially doing things solo, like my dad's just gone out on a delivery, so I think it's probably the first time I've ever bucked a log that big. A redwood, anyway, because they're so brittle. You have to just be—you've got to be careful. Get him on. So, for people that don't know, this is the your coastal redwood. So these are grown in this country more as a forest tree um, and you also get your giant sequoia which I'll show you. Your giant sequoia otherwise known as Wellingtonia. So the bark on this is a little bit more stringy and it's a much redder colour. I mean they're both red but this one is generally grown in like gardens and stately homes. A lot of posh houses in the UK have got these in front of them. Kind of a status symbol really. That is a monster of a tree. I mean, it probably looks small on camera, but... Driving down to the saw. This mana suit can take up to about three tons. So something like this is pretty... near, near the limit of what it can carry. I mean, it, it's beeping at me at the moment, but... It can, it can handle more than this. It can probably handle a six metre length, so this is only 4.2. So now you can kind of get a better picture of the size of this thing. Most sawmills wouldn't be able to take a log this big. That's where trusty track net comes in. Like you look at the girth on the bottom of that. I do have a tape actually. Oh no, I didn't. I left it up top. But it's an absolute animal of a thing. So these are actually grown as a crop. We have been offered some more off the Forestry Commission, but we're trying to get through these ones first. It's one of those, once you haven't got it for so long, people don't ask for it, but now people are starting to ask for it because we had a bit of a dry patch where we couldn't get our hands on any. So I, I missed a little bit. I cut the top off and then take a bit off the side as well. So she fit. So far, I'm just gonna get it milled down, so I'm just gonna set up a little camera angle now, and we'll do a little time lapse.
was very difficult to do it by myself but we got there in the end that is one of the drawbacks to these trees is fucking pain in the ass to move they're so big like I, I know I've got hydraulics on here but that will not move a lot at this size even the manatee was struggling so we got there in the end we haven't damaged anything which is a bonus so we'll mill a few more boards I mean the first part is the hardest part really once you get it broke down to a small piece, then it's more manageable. So I'm just going to keep chewing pieces off it. Got some nice balls down there already. square edges on her found it a little bit difficult to turn it by myself but we got there in the end so this this particular job is some like strips for cladding and then also some eight inch boards for another job but I'll probably get it all out of that log just because of volume so that's how it's going so far Yeah. 